Hallo und willkommen zurück zu Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trades in the Sky, The Third. Und ich habe mal geguckt, äh, hier muss ich lang gehen. Wir haben äh, nur noch zwei Türen, die wir noch nicht äh, geöffnet haben. Ich gehe mal gerade in den Hermit's Garden und äh, wechsle meine Gruppe aus. Das Girl, das ihr, ihrem Blade ihre Feelings äh, <lacht> anvertraut. Das ist entweder Chloe oder es ist, äh, kann ich hier eigentlich mittlerweile auffüllen? Ja, kann ich, gut. Äh, es ist entweder Chloe oder es ist Annalise. Ich äh, probiere es gerade, bevor ich das mal wechsle mit Chloe. Das müsste bei, war das The Sandor? Fists of Steel, Girl Who Loves the Fish ist eindeutig Estelle. Dann ist es eine Moondor? Nein, ach, und Shara fehlt uns auch noch eine, stimmt. Also insgesamt drei Türen. Da, Entrust her feelings to her, her blade. Ist das... Ist das Chloe? Komm schon. Ist es Chloe? Oder ist es, äh... Nein, ist es nicht. Gut. Ähm... Müssen wir mal gerade tauschen. Als nächstes probiere ich es mal mit Analyze, ob das Analyze ist. So, das, äh, ich weiß nicht, wie man dieses Menü auf dem Controller aufruft, deswegen benutze ich dafür dann immer, ähm, benutze ich dafür immer mein, äh, ja, ist okay, mein, äh, mein, meine Maus. So, probieren wir es jetzt nochmal. Äh, wann ist da oder immer noch? So. Ist Annalise die, äh, weil das ist eine Frau, die mit dem Schwert kämpft, ne? Ich muss ja irgendein Girl, das ein Schwert benutzt, äh. Ja, also gut, damit ist Annalise gemeint. Erfahren wir noch mehr über Annalise, den Charakter, den ich am wenigsten leiden kann. Yay! Ah. Na gut, was erfahren wir denn über Annalise? I shall grant to you a memory fragment and my blessing. So wie bei jedem anderen auch, nicht wahr? Ah toll, natürlich, Bose Market. Erleben wir jetzt Annalise bei einer ihrer Shoppingtouren oder so? Oder sie sitzt einfach nur in der Gilde rum, ganz alleine und hat keine Freunde. Mm, interesting. Wow, that's a surprise. Mit wem redest du da? Annalise! Wer ist denn Old Man? Oh, Lugren. Is something the matter? It's not like you to walk right up to the second floor without even looking at the board and shit quietly like this. You're not feeling sick from eating too much ice cream or something, are you? Well, das wäre sehr unprofessionell. Don't be silly. I'm not a kid anymore, you know. Could have fooled me. I swear that you were the one who ate three full scoops first thing in the morning. One morning and later I had to get some stomach medicine from Spence. Maybe my memory is playing tricks on me. <laughs> Let's all pretend that never happened, okay? Besides, that was back when I was a junior bracer. That was forever ago. I learned my lesson after that, I swear. Now, I never have more than one scoop each morning. You're not supposed to have ice cream in the morning at all, you know. Well, no matter. So, what have you been doing up here all this time anyway? Oh, right. Well, you see, I got a letter from my peppy who lives along my uh, way away this morning. Was? Who lives a long way away this morning? Ach so. Von, se von ihrem Papi? der weit weg wohnt. Ich dachte gerade, hä, wieso wohnt er nur diesen Morgen? <lacht> Warum wohnt er nur heute Morgen weit weg? <lacht> really? 
genau? Ich war gerade von der Satzstruktur <lacht> so confused. He's a swordsman, if I recall, it isn't he? Yep, he's an instructor. He's real famous uh, uh, among sword uh, pract uh, practitioners. Actually, Yun Ka Fai of the Eight Leaves One Blade School. Aha. Yun Ka Fai? Master Ka Fai, den, aha, den, den kennt man doch. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the one. I was familiar with the name even before meeting you, but I was quite uh, surprised to find out you were his granddaughter. Didn't he uh, used... Didn't he used... Also, didn't he used to... Used to... Das, das macht gerade irgendwie so... Hä? Der Satz ist jetzt aber wirklich falsch, oder? Didn't he used to live here in Liberal? I'm surprised you know about that. I can't say I have any memories of when he was here, though. It was around when I was born, so how could I? Not too long ago. I see. So how is he doing? Well... Judging by his letter, yeah, he's doing fine. I haven't had the chance to meet him in person for about a year now. Last time we had the chance to, sp uh, to spar, I felt like he was totally babying me, even though he's like 70. <laughs> he really must be skilled to be treating an active racer that way. <laughs> huh? What's with his sudden serious face? Oh, it's nothing all that major, but I've been wondering something for a while. Why do you stay here when you could join him? Uh, sorry, I'm lost. Well, it's just that you're aiming to improve your swordsmanship, aren't you? It feels like if you have a grandfather like that, the fastest way to do that would be to go with him and polish your skills at his side. That's... Uh, well... Okay, I was... Ich wusste vor dieser, vor dieser Rückblende noch gar nicht, dass äh, sie mit Kafei zu tun hat. Beziehungsweise, dass sie die, die Enkelin von dem sogar ist. Interessant. Das, das ist ein Charakter, den man auch... Äh, ich glaube, man sieht den auch noch gar nicht. Man, man lernt ihn vom Namen her auch noch mal kennen. Denn es ist der Meister von einer bestimmten anderen Person, die... Ja, also... Wie, wie, wie verpacke ich das jetzt? <lacht> es ist auf jeden Fall der Meister von, äh, von Reen halt auch, ne? Aus, aus Cold, St Cold Steel. Ne? Sorry, Annelies, you needn't pay any attention to an old man like me. No, that's not true at all. I really appreciate your advice, so please don't think it's not your place to give it. I can definitely see where you're coming from on this. I do have my reasons for being here and all. They're just a little difficult to explain. Oh! I do want to learn more about swordsmanship and swords in general. So in that sense, you're right that continuing to train under Papi would be both the best and fastest course of action. But that's not all I want to do with my life. I want at least as much, if not more, to know more about what it means to be a bracer. I guess it's a case of wanting to learn more about swordsmanship as a bracer rather than as a swordsman, if that makes sense. Am I even doing a good job of explaining this? Also, ich hab's verstanden. No, no, I think I can see where you're coming from now, actually. Besides, Papi wants told me uh, that he taught me all of the technical sides of swordmanship, forms, crafts, and that kind of stuff already. Whether I can master them or not is all down to me now. So in that sense, I feel like there's no specific need for me to train under him nowadays. <laughs> of course, whether I'm really advancing in my swordsmanship now is another issue, issue entirely. I wish I could say for sure I was, but... Hmm, I see. Uh, um, what's with this silent treatment all of a sudden? Oh, it's nothing. You're just uh, not really one of these kinds of serious discussions. Uh, for, uh, so, I was impressed to see you were even capable of them. Hey, I'm so capable. Besides, 
you were the one who kind of pushed me into talking about all this stuff first. <laughs> I'm glad I did too. Anyway, getting back to the point, what did the letters even say anyway? Oh, right. Well, as surprising as it is, it says that I should go and see Cassius Bright. Cassius? The one and only? Yep, that's right. Supposedly Papi was invited by the Royal Army to be a guest instructor at some point a long time ago. That's when he trained Cassius too. So ever since they've had this kind of student-master relationship with one another. Cassius even went out of his way to go and see him 10 years ago when he decided to stop using a sword too. 10 years ago? That would put uh, that around when he left the army to become a bracer then. What exactly prompted him to tell you to go visit Cassius now though? Well, I guess he only just recently found out that Cassius has returned to the army. So now he's wondering whether he might take this opportunity to take up the sword again. Hmm. Ah, I gotcha. He wants you to go and ask for him. And let him know what he says, yeah. I see. People really do end up connected in the strangest places and funniest ways. <laughs> Tell me about it. Hmm. Ob der das wirklich, ob die jetzt wirklich das Schwert wieder aufnimmt, das bezweifle ich eigentlich fast schon. Anyway, that being said, I kind of have a favor to ask. You want time off, I assume? Well, who am I to say no? You've got good cause to have it. I can even get in touch with the army and set up a meeting with Cassius if you want. Really? Really. Go along and get the truth your grandfather wants for him. But in return... In return? I want you to take care of every single one of the monster extermination requests on the board first. Uh, every single one? <laughs> yeah, super. Aren't there like five of them right now? Sure, but the monsters in this area will be no trouble at all for you as you are now. They'd be less of a problem if Grant were around, but I had to lend him to the guild over in Juan and he's still not back. You're gonna have to pick up the slack here in his place, especially if you want time off. <sighs> okay. Tja. Sieht man denn jetzt auch noch ihre Begegnung mit Cassius? Three days later, ey. Hat sie da jetzt die Monster Quests, Quests gemacht? Ja, yeah, I'm finally here. Right on time too. Okay, let's go back Cassius. Okay. Hm, can I help you? Ja, sie hat doch wahrscheinlich einen Termin, oder? Um, well, I'm Annalise Elfied, a bracer with the guild. I've come to meet with Brigadier General Bright. Ah, I see, I believe we've been expecting you. I'll pass on that you've arrived then. You might have to wait a little while before you can meet with the general though, I'm afraid. Huh? But I'm right on time. Did something throw his schedule off? Something must have. I can't pretend to know much more than you do. But the general is a very busy man, so it's not at all unusual for things like this to happen. Anyway, like I said, I'll pass on that you've arrived, but I'm going to have you to ask, uh, to ask you to wait out here for a while. Sure, no problem. Und wie lange ist diese while? This is taking ages. Ah, schon mal sehr lange. I hope the meeting isn't going to end up getting cancelled or something. Uh, I really don't want to have come all this way for nothing. I suppose if I can't meet with Cassius, I should at least uh, go shopping in Granzel. They should probably be getting the new lineup of stuffed toys around now. Uh, I wonder which one I should get. Maybe the bear or a crocodile once in a while would be nice. Excuse me, young lady. The general can meet with you now. Tja, jetzt bist du fast schon ein bisschen enttäuscht, dass du nicht shoppen gehen kannst, ne? Really? Na dann. Wer bist du? Good day, sir. Thank you. And you must be Analyzer, I assume. 
Yes, I am. Welcome to Layston Fortress. The general is waiting. Please follow me. Oh, thank goodness. I seriously thought I was going to have to go home without getting to see him. I'm terribly sorry for the wait. Well, please follow me. You got it, sir. Na dann geh ihm mal hinterher. Und da sehen wir den guten Earl Cashes wahrscheinlich gleich wieder, ne? Ah, da ist er ja. I've brought your visitor, sir. Very good. You may return to your duties. Thank you, sir. I'm really sorry about the delay there, Annalise. <coughs> oh, don't be. I'm more thankful you took the time out of your busy schedule to speak with me at all. <laughs> This is the least I could do for someone from my old line of work. It's been a while since we last met though, hasn't it? You've become a seasoned veteran before I knew it. <laughs> I'd certainly like to think I have. I can't have Estelle so ahead of me while she's abroad, can I? This is just what rivals do. <laughs> so they do. I'll be looking forward to seeing just how much stronger the two of you can become. You won't be disappointed. Getting to the point. I was pleased to hear that old master Kafai is still in good health. I believe it was because of him that you came here today. Yes, that's right. I didn't realize you were an acquaintance of his before this. I certainly am. In short, he's the man who taught me the way of the sword. That was over 20 years ago by this point. The first time we met was when I was back at the military academy, so I studied it under him. <laughs> I still remember the harsh training sessions he gave here at Leyston like they were yesterday. R really? Is there any special reasons you didn't say you knew him before? You knew I was his granddaughter, didn't you? I did. By the time I first met you, I had long given up the path of the sword. It didn't feel appropriate in my eyes to act as if I was a student in light of that. Oh, gotcha. I haven't seen him in about 10 years, I think. He does write to me on occasion, but how is he these days? Does he still have that old, same old vim and vigor? <laughs> yep. He really doesn't act his age at all. Still, if you let me get right to the point, the reason I came here is to continue the discussion he had with you ten years ago. Oh. To tell you the truth, Puppy still laments the fact that you left the path of the sword. That was why he wrote to me when he heard you'd return to the army. He wondered whether you returning to the military may mean you were also ready to pick up a sword again. So this is it. He'd like to know directly from you how you feel. Hmm. I see. And? Well, it's a great honor that after so many years he still cares so much about an inexperienced and utterly lacking swordsman like me. And yet I'm afraid my answer is that I still have no intention of taking up a blade again. C can I ask you why? Mm, you certainly can, but I'm not sure how to put my answer. This has always been on my mind too. I've always wondered what would prompt someone so skilled with a sword that they even gained the title Divine Blade to leave it all behind. And. I don't mean to make light of your skill with your staff or say it's inferior, nothing like that. It's just hard to wrap my head around why you did what you did, and there's little part of me that can't accept it either. Especially now that you've returned to the army, why can't you return to being a swordsman? Hmm. Uh, unless... Unless you believe that the staff is stronger than the sword after all. No. Not at all. I just believe a staff to be a more fitting weapon for me as I am now. Staves are a symbol of protection, which are used more for keeping enemies at bay than cleaving through them. You say that as if all swords are good for is cutting and killing, that's not true. 
I fight because I want to protect things, just like you do. As a swordsman, as a bracer, and as myself. Are you telling me the swordsmanship Puppy taught me isn't going to let me do that? I'm sorry, I didn't ask for you to take time out of your day so I could come and shout at you. But I, I can't accept what you're saying. Up until all of what happened here in Libel, I'd never felt any doubt that swordsmanship was the right path for me. In the end, all of what happened just served to remind me of how powerless I really am. And now, I, I feel like no matter how hard I try, I'll always be a rookie. I'll never be strong enough to do what I want to do. Now I see. Hmm. Perhaps this is fate. I see Master Kafai hasn't changed one bit. He's the same firecracker as he always was. What do you mean? I'm afraid as I am now, I'm not able to answer the question you're asking me. But I know someone else who can. Und wer? Meinst du sie selbst, oder was? Oder führst du ihn, sie jetzt irgendwo hin zu irgendwem, der das beantworten kann? What is he planning to do out here? Kämpfen? I really want to know who he called to. Ah, oh, there you are. Are you all ready to begin? Indeed I am. I never expected to have to wear this uniform again, though, especially not so soon. I'd almost think you enjoyed messing with people. <laughs> I'm not doing it to bully you. Mit wem redet er da? You know as well as I do, your usual work clothes aren't well suited for this kind of thing. A Colonel Richard. Y you're Colonel Richard! I realize this may sound like a, a little silly coming from a man wearing this uniform, but I'm no longer a colonel, young lady. So sorry. So, Mr. Richard then, or Alan? You can call me whatever you wish, though no need for the Mr. Meanwhile, I believe you are Annalise, senior bracer with her guild. You know me? I am not the former commander of the intelligence division for nothing. I know about all of the Bracers in this country. I see. But how did you end up being here? Actually, Richard was who I was just uh, meeting just before I spoke with you. Really? In short, I've decided to start up a new research company as a civilian. So while I may not be part of the army anymore, I can definitely see myself continuing to need to work with, in, with it in the future. So I decided to come here in order to discuss the matter with Cassius, in the hopes of maintaining a good relationship between us in the future. Oh, I get it now. Wait. Is the person you mentioned earlier... That's right. I want the two of you to fight one another. Wait a second. This is all a bit sudden, isn't it? Especially if I'm going to be fighting the famous Colonel Richard. Is that so? You don't want to know the answer to the question you asked me earlier, then. I believe any doubts you have towards swordsmanship uh, can only be dispelled through using it. Focus not on whether you win or lose, but on pouring all you have into the battle, and you should find the answer you seek. Okay. All right then. Muss ich den Kampf jetzt kämpfen? I'm not sure I make much of an opponent, but I'll do what I can. It's not every day one has the chance to test the skills against a relative of the Eight Leaf School founder. I'm eager to see what you can do. Begin. Right. Okay, muss ich jetzt tatsächlich als sie spielen? After close measure. Die with honor. Mm -hmm. So, hauen wir direkt hinterher mal True Piercing Wave auf ihn. Guck 
まあwie viel Schaden macht das 3000 immerhin so dann greife ich noch mal mit ihr an Uff, das macht ja gar keinen Schaden. Kannst du dich heilen? Terra, mach mal Terra auf dich selbst. Versuche mal, den Kampf zu gewinnen. <lacht> Zumindest versuchen will ich es, aber ich bin viel schneller als er. So wie es aussieht. Luminous Divider. Gut, du kannst dich aber nicht irgendwie buffen, oder? Swordwind Slash. Ne, Pedal Dance. Doch, du kannst dich selbst buffen. Sacrifice Defense for Offense. Ja, ne, ich weiß nicht, ob mir das jetzt so viel bringt. Dann hau ihn weiter nochmal eine rein. Er macht jetzt so viel mehr Schaden einfach. Ich, äh, versuche mich einfach am Leben zu halten. So lange bis, äh, ja, bis ich wieder meine S-Craft nutzen kann. Dann jetzt nochmal R, Terra auf mich selbst. Ich will immer so über 5000 bleiben, falls er nochmal seine S-Craft macht. So, jetzt mache ich nochmal die S-Craft. Ich zweimal hintereinander wieder dran. Art, Terra wieder auf dich selbst. Mal Angriff. Luminous Wheel, okay. Nochmal Angriff. Nicht getroffen. Ja, wir sehen uns, wenn es hier ein Ergebnis gibt. So, ich habe jetzt ganz knapp verloren. Ich weiß nicht, was ich da hätte anders machen sollen. Er hatte nur noch so 200 Leben oder sowas. Aber ich hatte auch überhaupt keine Chance mehr, mich zu heilen, weil meine EP aufgebraucht waren und die Heil-Items aufgebraucht waren. Also, ich weiß nicht, wie ich das hätte gewinnen sollen. Au, 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 au! I should have known I'd stand no chance. I'm amazed by just how well you did fight, though. All right, the victor is decided. Sheathe your blades. So, Annalise, how did the swordsmanship appear to you? Well, he fights using the Eight Leaf School's fifth form, Morning Moon. He's made a few changes uh, to the standard form, but it's largely a style based around sword drawing techniques. Ja, vor allem seine seine S-Craft ist ja, da zieht er sein Schwert. Well, okay, I, I noticed a bit more than ju just technical details like that. Hmm, what did you notice? One thing I realized while fighting him. Richard swings his sword as if perfectly synchronized to my breathing. The second I go on, on the offensive, he reacts without fail. In that sense, it feels like his swordsmanship is more power, much more defensive than offensive, I suppose. That defensive stance matches perfectly with the form he uses in combat, and the result is very natural, very powerful swordsmanship. Oh ho! Hmm. What I can't work out is why you're so focused on fighting defensively to begin with. I mean, I assume it's because you want to protect something, but what? Ja, was will Richard, Richard denn be, Richard denn bitte Annalise beschützen? Yes. I wield a sword for but one single reason. That reason is to protect this country. Oh. Everyone has at least something they wish to protect in this world. Perhaps that is a person, such as their family or loved ones. Perhaps it is a belief or ideology that they hold dear. 
And just as the things we seek to protect are different, so too are the ways we cho choose to do it. In my case, the way I choose to protect what I care about just happens so to perfectly suit the defense of swordsmanship you noticed. <laughs> Although I can only imagine how comical it must sound to hear a criminal who threatened his na this nation talk about wanting to protect it. Uh, um, well, not really. Richard, you... Please, don't say anything, General. Her Majesty may have chosen to pardon me for what I did, but that doesn't make those crimes simply disappear. Still, just as your desire to protect Libel remained even after leaving the army, I can't completely turn my back on mine. It was so that I could do so that I resolved to leave the army even. It was? You see, Annalise, to me one's position in life is just a means to an end, a way in which to achieve whatever you wish to do. I think that's true for one's choice of weapon as well, wouldn't you agree? Well, what's important isn't what weapon you choose, but what you use it to do, what inspires you to take it up and use it to fight. The reason I chose to put my sword aside and take up a staff is those feelings had changed. That is all. So, Annalise, any more thoughts? I should just use my sword in the way that best fits me to do what I want. That's what you're trying to say, right? Sure is. You beat me to it. Your master Kafai's granddaughter. Your master Kafai's granddaughter. All right. Very quick to catch on things. <laughs> I'm just as quick at forgetting things too, though. But I finally get where you're coming from. Now, hoffentlich vergisst du das nicht sofort wieder. Really? <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. Dass ich's wieder vergisst? Could I ask you to pass my answer on to Master Kafai then? Consider it done. I'm sure he'll understand. I feel I've learned a lot today from having the opportunity to face off against you. I do hope I'll have the chance again one day. So do I. Okay. <laughs> You'll both have to make sure you don't neglect your training then. Of course. I wouldn't dream of giving it any less than 100%. Na dann gib mal 100%. War das jetzt die Side Story? Nee, es geht noch weiter, okay. Really? It sounds like that was quite a fruitful experience. It sure was. I'm guessing this was Puppy's plan all along. He knew exactly what would happen if I went to ask Cassius what I did, and that's why he asked. I must have sounded a little unsure of myself in the last letter I wrote him. I see. Like master, like pupil. Incidentally, while I hate to spring this on you before you've even had a chance to settle back in, a lot of work built up here while you were away. There's even a request from the mayor too, so I really need you to get right on it all. Uh, <laughs> if anything, you should be grateful. All this work will give you a chance to refine your skills with that new mindset of yours, won't it? <laughs> That's one way of looking at it, sure. Ja, aber man kann es auch so betrachten, dass auf sie jetzt ganz viel Arbeit abgewälzt wird. So, Papi. While I bet you knew all along, it looks like Cassius has no intentions of taking up the way of the sword ever again. But thanks to seeing him, I ended up being given a chance to re-examine my own swordsmanship. Up until now, I thought it was all about getting stronger or faster, things like that. But now I finally realized that what's far more important than either of those things is why you take up your sword in the first place, your feelings. I feel like now I finally understand why I was never able to defeat you, no matter how many times we fought. I might not be the best student in the world, but I'll keep giving my training all I've got. Love, Annalise. Okay. Side story swordsmanship finished. Received 5000 Mira. Das ist doch immer schön. Gut, das war wahrscheinlich dann das Blessing, die 5000 Mira. Dann kann ich wieder zurück in die Base Area gehen.
und wieder die Gruppe meiner Wahl zusammenstellen. Ich hätte nämlich ganz gerne wieder statt, äh, nein, das wollte ich nicht, statt, äh, statt Anlays hätte ich gerne wieder jemanden Nützlichen in der Gruppe. Julia hatte ich da, naja. So, aber ich habe noch keinen Support. Okay. Mein Support fehlt mir noch, ne? Uh, Speed und Death macht er hoch, aber... HP Recovery plus 4% im Battle macht Sinn. Und die Death macht er höher. Oh, die Arts Defense geht dafür runter. Hm. Uh. Okay, ich glaube, ich nehme mal Josette. <lacht> ich nehme einfach mal Josette als Support, denn... Josette erhöht die Item Drop Rate und die äh, Sapid Drop Rate äh, recht beträchtlich. So, und dann zurück zur Fourth Plane. The Local Lodge. Gut, ich würde sagen, an dieser Stelle sehen wir uns dann beim nächsten Mal wieder bei The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. Bis dann, Leute. Ciao.